The Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame recognizes Ohio's distinguished men and women who have worn the uniform of our nation's armed forces and then continue to contribute to their communities, state, and nation through exceptional acts of volunteerism, advocacy, professional distinction, public service, and philanthropy. The Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. Nominate a veteran today. Carolyn DeStefani, the United States Air Force, the Gulf War conflict. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, and when I was about 16 years old, I learned that there was an organization called Civil Air Patrol, which was an auxiliary of the Air Force, and I instantly was interested. I'd always been um, very intrigued by airplanes and wanted to learn to fly, so um, as soon as I learned that there was such an organization, I signed up to join and uh, got involved right away. I ultimately ended up getting a flight scholarship, and I learned to fly right about the same time I was learning to drive. It at age uh, 16, 17, right in there. So uh, I, I had the bug from a really young age. I ultimately ended up meeting my husband through Civil Air Patrol as well. I, I shared as we are sitting here in the beautiful uh, National Museum of the United States Air Force, I met my husband at, uh, through Civil Air Patrol and we were at a summer encampment and uh, uh, here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and they had a dining out and we had our very first date. He invited me to go to that dining out and it was under the wing of the B-52. We both went into the Air Force. I went through ROTC at Ohio State University. I was in the Air Force for um, just shy of eight years. What I really wanted to do was fly, but I didn't have 20-20 vision, and I also, my sitting height, I was half an inch too short. So I, I had the two dings against me, but I thought perhaps I could get a, um, a waiver. I learned of a program when it ultimately became apparent that I wasn't gonna be able to get the two waivers to be an ejection seat test subject. And, um, uh, I ended up being their smallest test subject, and Jeannie Levette ended up becoming the first female fighter pilot in 1993. And uh, she's now a major general and uh, had a wonderful career, but uh, some of my uh, my data helped uh, help pave the way for other women to become fighter pilots. So I didn't, I didn't reach the goal of being a fighter pilot, but I was able to help along the way with that. I got to meet uh, the legacy uh, Charles Yeager, and it, it was just a very, very neat experience to talk to the, the person that went to the speed of sound uh, <laughs> and uh, um, ju just a really engaging conversation and I've met uh, John Glenn in the past so uh, ju just some wonderful opportunities and I really got to see the movers and shakers that were making decisions in the Air Force and that was very impactful for me and I, I think really what drove me to become part of the Air Force were just their core values the um, integrity first service before self and excellence in all we do that that really drove me and every decision I've made for the rest of my my life since then. I did ultimately go back to work. One of my jobs I worked for the, um, the Family Resource Center in Bellbrook Sugar Creek area and I provided um, care for low-income families. We had 110 um, families, children, veterans that we served and some wonderful memories there. It truly is a dream come true. I, I just can't say um, how humbled I am to, to be part of this uh, excellent group of uh, military veterans. Selection and induction into the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame is a great honor. Nominate a veteran today.